Have you ever wondered how vaccines are really made? Let's take a look at the smallpox vaccine known as ACAM 2000, approved by the FDA in 2007. Everything you are about to see here is 100% documented on the CDC and FDA websites. As you can see from this vaccine insert posted by the FDA, this vaccine uses African green monkey kidney cells. It's one of the approved excipients also listed in this CDC document, which mentions other ingredients used in vaccines, including cow blood serum, chicken blood parts, pig blood serum, and even aborted human fetal cell lines that were originally harvested from an aborted human baby. To make the smallpox vaccine, drug companies import living primates from Africa, in this case African green monkeys, and move them into biocontainment facilities in the United States. There, they are deliberately infected with smallpox. Over the next few days and weeks, this infection spreads through the bodies of the captive monkeys concentrating in their kidneys. Once the infection is complete, the monkeys are murdered and their organs are harvested to remove the kidneys. Yes, monkeys are raised in confinement, then murdered in order to create vaccines in America. The kidney organs are then thrown into a kind of medical blender known as a tissue homogenizer. This creates a kind of gray goo of kidney tissue that's heavily infected with smallpox. This gray goo of infected kidney tissue is then processed, purified, and blended with other ingredients such as human serum albumin, neomycin antibacterial chemicals, and HEPIs, a chemical buffering agent. This resulting liquid is then loaded into vaccine vials, labeled, and distributed to hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies across America to be injected into adults and children. So what happens when you inject these diseased monkey kidney tissues infected with live smallpox virus? According to the ACAM 2000 smallpox vaccine insert sheet published by the manufacturer, nearly one out of every 200 people injected with the vaccine may suffer blindness, congenital immune deficiency disorders, spontaneous abortions, cardiac disease, severe disability, encephalitis, myocarditis, or even death. Even worse, once you're vaccinated with the smallpox vaccine, you can then spread smallpox to others. As it says on the insert sheet, ACAM 2000 is a live vaccinia virus that can be transmitted to persons who have close contact with the vaccinee. And the risks in contact are the same as those stated for vaccinees. In other words, in order to make the vaccine that just might kill you, the vaccine companies first infect a bunch of monkeys, murder them, harvest their organs, blend them up, add more chemicals, and load this cocktail into vaccine vials, which the mainstream media tells you are perfectly safe with zero risk of side effects. The truth is, you're not being told the full story about what's in vaccines. And if you don't believe in animal cruelty, or sharing blood with diseased primates, cows, chickens, and pigs, you may want to think twice about being injected with any vaccine. Stay informed at vaccines.news. Support our films for humanity. Visit healthrangerstore.com. The cleanest lab-verified health products in the world.